welcome back to Red Ted Art. Yes, it's time for some more corner bookmarks. This is what they look like when they're in a book. Let's have a look. Which one is it? It's the cheeky, sticking out, tonguey one. So there you go, corner bookmarks. Let's see how that one looks like when we put it in. It's always good to see. I think that looks quite fun. And the heart one. There we go, brilliant. So um, lots of you have been requesting some um, emoji corner bookmarks, so I thought it was time to make it. What you will need is, is some yellow paper. This is half of an A4 sheet. Uh, I used the other half to make one of those. You'll need some scissors. You'll need uh, a print stick for the details, and you'll need some um, pens and possibly some paper for um, other uh, the things that you might want to stick on. Um, so it depends on, on what, what emoji you're doing and what details you want to draw and which details you want to stick on. So it's up to you, really. Um, I quite like doing a combination of drawing and sticking. So let's get started on our emojis. Firstly, you need to turn uh, this uh, rectangular piece of paper into a square piece of paper. And you do this by taking one corner, be it this one, actually I'm going to do it this way around, this corner, bring it all the way up here. Now, and this is basically your basic, uh, oh, sorry, you also need a glass and a pencil. You'll see why in a minute. Um, this is your basic emoji, but we're going to make some am amendments. So do watch it all because it's quite important that you see them. Otherwise, it's all going to fall apart and not work. So I've, I've brought the triangle up. Uh, which means that when you open it up, you have a square piece of paper. Now, the dimensions aren't important, okay, as long as it's square. So I think mine are roughly 12 by 12 or, or something like that, but it doesn't really matter. I've done bigger ones as well, and I've done smaller ones as well. So once you've got your square, you bring it up to create this triangle. Now you bring this corner up over here. And now you bring this corner up here as well. So you create a straight line down the centre. Like so. So, here we go, then you open it, and you've got a flap, so you bring the top flap halfway down, like so, which means this little point goes right into the centre, and you bring this one up, and tuck it in. Now you've got a bit of a rough edge there, but luckily we're going to do some trimming soon, so I don't think it matters too much. Same here, bring it up, tuck it in. So now you've got your basic book corner which can go into your corner but because we're going to be doing some cutting I actually want to stick this down just to give it a bit more stability so I've opened it up once I've had all the um, so, so I've got all the lines in place and I add a really generous amount of um, you know print stick or, or glue stick whatever one you'd prefer using like so a generous amount of glue stick tuck it in and this basically just kind of secures it all a bit okay like so so now you can give it a nice pat down, make it nice and secure, and put this to the side for now. This is where the glass comes in. Now, I want to turn this, I'm going to turn it upside down, I want to turn this into as, as best a circle as possible. Now, I can't do it a perfect circle, because you need to keep the corners up here, otherwise it definitely falls apart. So if you look here, they're not perfect circles, because actually I've got a connection here and here, yeah? So you want to find the glass, by coincidence we've got one, that is just a little bit bigger than your paper. And uh, that allows you to have those edges, uh, you know, that, that, that keeps your book more corner together. Let's just maybe do a tiny bit more over this side. So when you see, when you see, when you draw, you've got this bit really important to keep that and not to cut it off and this side, don't cut it off. So now I'm gonna trim it. It doesn't matter on the bottom because here, this side is where the, um, you know, that, that's just the, 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 the bit that gets tucked in, but the top you have to keep it, otherwise yeah, you have a bookmark that falls apart. So they're not actually perfect circles, but they're as close as perfect as you need. And like I say, here you can round it off a bit if you want, it doesn't matter so much. So here you've got your bookmark shape. Actually, I might just trim it tiny a bit because it's not bit too big but you know it's still got this edge and the edge is really important so today I'm going to do the kissing emoji did a little drawing here beforehand so I could remember how to do it and I've also realized that when I draw on this paper it goes on my table so I'm just going to turn this put this underneath so I've got somewhere to, to, uh, to mark so I'm going to start off with this eye a nice big one like so 
and then we're going to put the closing one like so. Add a little eyebrow, add a little eyebrow. Now I need to do the kiss like so. And I've already prepared a heart. With this one, I decided to do a little outline because I thought, I don't know, it would be nice. And then to stick your heart on to kind of overlap the edge a bit because that's what it does. And there you have your emoji bookmark. So just so you can see the others again, uh, for this one, I cut out two hearts and a big mouth. For this one, I actually drew everything on and then stuck on two tears just to the top. And same with this one, I cut out an eye with the black line. I thought it'd give it a bit, bit a better effect. And then I also stuck out, stuck on a tongue, but the rest was all colored in with pencils, with pens and pencils. So I think these are really quite fun. I think they're quite effective. Hopefully you like them too. Remember, we've got tons of bookmarks here on Redhead Art. We've also got other emoji crafts. I'm going to link things below in the comments and also I'm going to put eye cards in up here. Do check them out because I think you'll really, really like them. And, um, you know, the other bookmarks are things like Ninja Turtles, Darth Vader, Normal Turtles, Unicorns, all sorts. Minions, got tons and tons. Angry Birds, uh, really lovely, lovely, lovely bookmarks that I think you'd enjoy. So, Check out the channel, have a good browse, subscribe, leave me a comment, and see you again soon. Bye.